So first case is a case of a 49-year-old male patient uh, with a acute onset on a, of a right-sided radiculopathy. Um, you see here the X-ray and you see the MRI with this clear finding of this mediolateral uh, disc herniation C67 to the right side. It started pretty medial and it's going down into the neural foramen here um, and pushing the C7 nerve root. Um, he had six weeks of conservative treatment without improvement and that's in my eyes a perfect candidate now for total disc replacement after decompression C6-7. Okay. Okay. Pulsating. This is the carotid artery. Keep this artery to the lateral. that you push the esophagus and the trachea to the contralateral side. Next. Okay, Shere. Point five millimeter retaining screw, three point five millimeter retaining screw. Screw. Now I incise the anterior aspect, the anterior annulus. All the way to the lateral. Cut only what you see. And I try to find the best sheet immediately, then it's easy. Okay. After taking out the anterior analyst, you what that the disk space is opening up. You also can use some carrots now or sharp spoons to take out the disc from anchors to anchors. And I always clean the end plate immediately for the bony ingrow, for the... But you need to take out all the stuff, even if there's no compression posteriorly, to place the TDR in a proper way. If your release is good in both sides, you see, nicely opening in the middle, So, of course, you need to do a proper decompression. Opening the pathology. Here you see the herniated disc pushing the spinal cord. You see that? Here we are.
very characteristic color of the Dura. This is coming up. So we have different footprints so, and uh, different heights. The heights is 5 mm, 6 mm, 7 mm. Footprints and always in the... Then we're using the 5LD probe. And of course we want to insert it centered. That's why we can orientate. And you have this stop for safety reason. And now it looks pretty nice. So I'm not able to take it out now with my hands. It's picked up like a cage and it's pretty important that you, that you add the right sizes of the implant holder to have a proper fit. You hear the click, so the implant is held in a parallel way uh, around the bowl-shaped uh, polyethylene, polyethylene um, um, inlay. And now everything is fixed. And you see here the full implant. And it's very important that you ha don't have an angulation between the end plates while you're inserting this. It's, yeah? And of course, you have an upper upper with a, with a stripe and a lower end plate. So don't put it upside down. Okay. Try to... Yeah. We take away now the distraction to open the posterior space bit. So we don't have to go deeper. So we can de detach the implant holder very easy, taking out this thread. And then you just take it out. Pusher, you can push the cranial end plate individually. And now we can take out the spreader. We can bone wax to seal the bleeding. Yeah. And now carotid artery is coming back, the esophagus is coming back, trachea is coming back, closure of the wound.